Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this video, I want to share with you this uh, node setup, basically that was inspired by a Paycheck 2 LED mask. This is something that I really want to create using the iPhone 10, but uh, for now, I really just gonna use Blender to do it. So this is the setup that I have at the moment. Um, you can see that's, uh, that's my face scan uh, mesh that's being preview if i hide it you can now see just the led basically the led is just a circle and i want to share the breakdown of this it's actually not that hard it's just um, a couple of nodes um, first of all i started of course with my with my mask my face scan and then i am applying the the matrix transform just in case i scale the mask <clears throat> and then the next thing I did was to use the Raycaster node. So I have this Raycaster, but I also have a, a plane. So this plane currently is set to 40 by 40, but I can set it up to less, like 20 by 20. But you can see as I'm changing this uh, grid of pixel, I'm increasing the resolution. So I think. 40 by 40 is a good number in this case it covers most of my face for LED so Raycaster is doing the hard job basically it's just uh, projecting um, the points of planes in a minus y coordinate okay Raycaster will give you back these uh, points so the point is basically whatever points that's projected into face. And then I have this list masking that's basically supposedly getting rid of the points that's uh, kind of didn't receive any ray. So these points, I just simply mask it out. So I, I end up with just uh, the points that's on the face. So list mask is important just have a look at this and then you can recreate this yourself and then the next one I use is matrix normal this matrix normal basically will make sure each of the circle will match the normal of the face so this is also important so you get you get this blue color dots basically and the circle itself is of course um, just a circle um, nodes I'm just re rewiring it just changing the directions of the circle from Y to Z and then and then I pipe everything into fewer B mesh so now it's become become a real object in 3d in blender and then I'm applying vertex color new and the color itself is actually coming from this random noise color generator back here. So let me check real quick. I think I might have, okay, that's more correct. File, save. So yeah, it's, the process is really, really simple. And then now this uh, random noise color is corresponding to my face color and I can make uh, any kind of changes you can see how this guy corresponds to the face and I think it's controlled by frame as well and I'm currently using cell noise but I can change it to Perlin so you can see the noise more clearly So yeah, pretty simple and then it is it is actually possible to just uh, instead of using random noise you just use your own like animated GIF or, or movies and Blender will be happily look at each frame and then applying it to the face LED. So this LED of course will work in Blender, I can render it out and really I really want this to work as an app on the iPhone 10 in real time but uh, we will see how it goes. Um, so yeah, 
hopefully you find this uh, useful and interesting and you can rebuild this yourself so this is the notes it's rather simple i guess it's intermediate but it's a uh, it's still pretty simple and i have another setup where i have it ready with a with a you can just use any kind of like square movie and it will apply the led to the face and so yeah you will see um i will try to transfer this to the iphone so i can map it to my face but there you go hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye